was panic in the Ibarampa area of Oyo State again following the killing of 56 years old farmer Moftu Babaride in the area. Hmm. Hello, my beautiful people. You see, Nigeria is turning into something else. Everybody just they look like this thing, just they grow, you know, like hair. You see, these Fulani killer headsmen, these people, they are not ready to learn lesson. They are not ready to change. They can never repent. No matter how you try to do this. Even after Mr. President has given the order on, of uh, shoot on sight, these people still carry their AK-47, still keep people, and they still walk away. That is the most painful part of it. The president said... Kill anyone you see with AK-47. Since he made that announcement, how many attacks have we been hearing every day by day? Because it has turned to a tradition in this country that there is no day you will not hear that um, Fulani S-men slaughter people. Fulani S-men do this. I mean, the, the, I'm talking about the criminals among them. You understand? Or oh, talking of, about the Boko Haram too. So there is no day you will not hear all this, all this bad news every day. Once you just wake up, bad news, Nigerian bad news is the first thing you are going to, you are going that that is going to welcome you. So the question is, what about the instruction, Mr. Government uh, President, have given? Are they actually carrying out this instruction because? If the government is working on that instruction based on what the president has said, I believe by now all this killing and whatever would have stopped. It's like after the instruction of this uh, shoot on site, it can't be like say they can't put more, more kerosene inside fire, make it a burn. So what is going on here? And some persons are there talking about uh, people that is inciting wars and all that, you know, they said if it happens to another person, it will look like it happens to a log of wood. But when you lost somebody that is close to you, you will know how painful it is. These people, uh, these uh, Fulani herdsmen are killing every day, every day by day. They are human beings like us. So. Because you are opportunity to be alive today is not by your making. And that is why Nigerians are shouting. Nigerians are crying. The government should do something about this. We cannot just close our eyes and, you know, somebody will come and take off your head like that. We are crying of hunger now. Everybody don't shut up. Nobody can they talk about hunger again. We they manage that time. Money not there, we they manage. But the insecurity, this is what we are talking about. Our lives are no longer secured. You are not secured any longer in your home. You are not even secured while traveling. Nigerians are shouting. The government should do something about this. But if like say they don't want, they won't do something fast about it. But they've forgotten that it can be anybody. These people can face anybody. If you can recall what they did to the, the governor of Benue State, it was God that saved him. By now, that, that one, that story for me, and nothing would have still been done about it. You get it? So, all these governors in your state, make them do something about this thing. You people should do something about these killings. Enough of these killings. Enough for it. Enough is enough. You guys have to stop looking at anyone's face. If you know, if you know what you are doing, Stop looking at anyone's face. Please save the lives of the people that voted you in there. Because that is your first primary assignment. Anyway, guys, make it not be like side to the top. Let's get straight to the news. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. Vanguard gathered that. Babarinde was hacked to death by suspected Fulani S men at Orota Marine, Okonko village in the Barampa, not local government area of the state. The incident which has thrown the people in Tapa, where the disease 
hailed from into confusion was said to have happened at around 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Babari there it was Babari there it was gathered had gone to his farm to give his laborers food and was returning home when the hoodlums waylaid him and hacked him to death. Some of the residents of the area said they could not say what was responsible for the killing of the farmer who they said was very popular in the area. Some of them say those responsible were some of those who were sent packing when the OPC and vigilantes stormed the residence of Iselu Wakile to arrest him in February. The police public relations officer in the state, Adewale, when contacted, confirmed the incident, saying that more information would be made public as investigation has commenced. But some of the people in the area, including convener, Iganka, development advocate, confirmed the killing. He said in an interview with Vanga that man was killed by suspected X-men and the killing had thrown the area into panic, saying the government and security agents had failed the people. Is Wells, this has thrown the uh, this has shown to the public we don't have any security again. The government and security agencies have failed us. We can't sleep with our two eyes closed any longer, and this is really very bad. Hmm. The northern leaders will not say anything now. No Nigerian again, no security anywhere. Nigeria is just to collect bribe. Nothing they are doing, nothing they are doing can you see how Fulani people are just wasting human life or more? See what her life you see. Even the so called security agents, they, they say they fear their life now. These people are going to combat criminals without sophisticated uh, weapons. You understand? So they are still human beings. So everything bounces back to the government. Everything bounces back on them. They have actually failed Nigerians. So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.